Some buildings seem to have been locked up for ages. This is one of them. As global time has passed, time in here has stagnated. Together we will take a glance in the former house of the Baretti family. And try to demystify the untold stories of an Italian soldier and his relatives that eternally departed their home 11 years ago. Welcome back everyone on a brand new episode in Italy. Today I'm gonna tell you the story of the Baretti family. A man, a woman and two children were living in this homely place. But today it's been crowded by cobwebs and spiders have become the new residents of this home. Enjoy watching this video. I don't have much daylight left. I'm gonna try to make the best out of it, which I can. So yeah, let's start exploring. So over here on the hangar, still all their jackets are hanging up. I guess Mrs. Baretti loved to sew on her single sewing machine. And over here we can see a photo of Mr. and Mrs. Baretti, the two residents of this home. Look at the sofa over here. I've never seen a pattern like this. It's a very, very unique sofa. These people had a strong religious belief. They were Roman Catholic. And then this was the father of Mr. Baretti. And then on the other side pops up the portrait of the mother of Mr. Baretti. A Jesus statue here. Also look at the stove. It would keep this place nice and warm. And then just imagine for a second that it was once filled with life and joy. And right now it's crowded by the dusty spider webs going all across the room, through the lamp, through the china cabinet. Even some old photos over here. They're actually very, very beautiful photos. Most of it also looks like some sightseeing they've done. Over here. I guess this was Mr. Baretti back in his younger days when he was still compliant with attending the army. A lot of wine, mostly red wine. Also some scotch whiskey there. All their glasses to serve it out. It's a crazy fact that after 12 years of abandonment, still everything is in its place inside of this cabinet. And then have a look at the chair. <laughs> it's just fallen down because of decay. Mother nature did its job again. And here goes the home of the Baretti family. Just left for eternity to take over. To give you an outside view from the exterior of the property, this is how it looked like and still looks like sort of. However, everything is full of vegetation right now. 
Now let's continue from their dining living room to their kitchen. Just have a look at the quantity of all these cobwebs. It's unbelievable what 12 years of vacancy can do with a place. Especially if it's just left wide open. We have a calendar on the wall, but it only says the month February and not more than that. But I've seen a calendar of 2010, which was the last date I've seen. Over here another old photo. This calendar says another date, 1992. But imagine all the cobwebs above me. In reality, you can even see it better. But I think it's quite visible on camera right now. Here and there the place has been slightly vandalized, which of course is sad. But I think 12 years is a long time for a place. And for that time, especially in Italy, it's still incredibly well preserved. Over here, photo. With the little boy. This is a diary from 1962. Oh, look over here. There's a tractor. So maybe these people were also involved in agriculture. Could have been the case. So I found out that the first name of the man was Carlo. I also really want to find out the name of the two children and the woman. Some medicines over here on the shelf. Oh my gosh. Look again behind the cobwebs over here. Still two jackets hanging. Okay, let's continue through this tiny corridor. I think they were keeping birds here in the cage. One thing I don't like is that there is really, really much mosquitoes inside of this place. Literally everywhere. One is here, and they're all flying around as well. So from this tiny corridor, we actually come inside a shed. It's pretty, pretty dark inside of here. Just have a look at it. So many wine bottles just thrown on the ground, and they're all empty. Over there in the corner is a bicycle as well. What is this over here? Over here, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, so it's the alphabet. Oh, this was, I think, a game. You had to spin the wheel and then you had certain poses. And I think you needed to imitate that. This is clearly the evidence that they used to have children. There's also abacus over here. So yeah, that's already very evident. And I was right. But my wild guess is when I saw some letters of their names. All different names. I think this was a door leading to the outside garden. But you can tell how many cobwebs inside of this place. Really incredible. Also, there is a fridge, even more bottles of wine. And let's see. Oh, here are some stairs going up. Well, I firstly want to show you one other thing on the ground floor. 
because I think from this part we actually come inside of a garage. Let's quickly check out the cabinet. Oh, some jars probably for canned food. Even more bottles of wine. It's just full of them. Full of mosquitoes here too. I am getting out. Oh, what a mess inside of this room. And again, have a look at all the cobwebs. Oh, this is probably the most repulsive fridge I've ever, ever seen during my exploring career. Well, a mask is essential for this situation. Just look at it. Everything was left behind. I think the last resident left in a rush. And all food was just left behind. Close that again. Okay. Well, furthermore, a lot of booze inside of here. There is also a television. And look at the big black web of cold webs surrounding the vicinity of the up side of this room. Again, many paperwork. Some binoculars on the table. Religious artifact. Again, this is one of those houses where all the calendar dates are completely different. Over here it's saying 2005. I guess this was a family photo. Oh, there's even a typewriter. Friend of a woman. I think these people had a lot of friends because there were so many letters inside as well. And I guess they all received them from their friends. Also nature is slowly making its way inside. And look over here again. The coats, the umbrella, all still left on the hangers. So the next room is yet another kitchen. So they might have had a shared house with other people, or maybe this was just for the son and the daughter. Well, one thing which is very, very clear is that they own a pet, namely a cat. Look how many boxes of cat food are still <laughs> laying here also on the ground. Over here, the last calendar date I found, 2010, still with some written notes on it. Some glasses, a clock. Oh, look at the corner. It's incredible to see all these cobwebs. Because in that case you know that not many people have walked there for the last years. The vandalism is probably already from a longer and longer time period ago. A washer here. Again, so many letters. Okay, so here is a name, Rita. So maybe Rita was the name of the daughter. Or from the woman, of course. Let's just have a look. All the pans still inside in these very, very dirty cabinets. Every little thing. Again, a big net of cold webs. Ah, jikes.
all over the place looks from an overview pretty messy I still really really love to explore this home because there is a lot of things to see from the Baratti family who lived there for example also over here a lot of clothes still there some jeans sweaters oh my gosh ah. You see all the flies coming outside? They're literally everywhere. Well, this thing is clearly not working well anymore. So many bottles again. I'm wondering if these people really drank so much wine or that they actually produced it, that they had like a wine farm. It's literally here in all these crates, just filled. And these bigger bottles were used for the storage of the wine. Then let's go outside, because I want to show you the garage. There is still also a car left behind. And they clearly were farmers, like you can see. Oh, look over here. It's an old Fiat 500. Also a very rusty bicycle. Just look at it. <laughs> it's such a funny car. Pretty cute. <laughs> I want to do a little tour around the outside because you've not seen much about the outside of the building yet. And the sun is slowly going down. Probably will be dark in 20 minutes. Of course, I don't want to take my rush, but exploring in the dark, I don't really like. I prefer to capture the places with daylight. And I think in this way you can also get a better imagination of how these places used to look like when they were still inhabited. Well, this part over here, the brown part, is actually the shed part. And the white part over there used to be the living part. Quickly gonna show it to you because there's many cars passing by. I don't want anyone to see me. Oh freaking hell, there's a car stopping. Well, just have a look. This is all I can show now. Because I don't want to be spotted by too many people. In the same case, somebody just calls the police. And then you're hanging because the Italian police is very strict. I was never caught in uh, Italy before, so I also don't want it to happen. still a pair of roller skates standing which was also probably from the children and then look over here we have all our stuff standing here on the ground so don't look too much to that but it's just a lack of time guys this was once the main door and have a look the key is still inside of the keyhole and it's just completely filled with this very dusty cobweb just an incredible state. 
of DK. Ah, jikes. So many mosquitoes again. Like literally all these dots you see, they are mosquitoes. Just trapped in the cobwebs. Well, remember I told you we can go upstairs on this side as well. And I think we will reach the same side if we walk around. look over here so you can tell this was their bedroom you can also clearly see again the importance of religion for these people wow look at this I think this is still the uniform of Mr. Baretti when he was in the army, which we've also seen on the photo in the living room. My gosh, it's also bitten by insects, probably mutts. But this is still his complete uniform. Oh, it's so sad that something like this, where people fought in, where people defended their country in, is now just left unloved and just left to be forgotten. Oh, there are so many old photos here. Look at the man here in the gentle suit. Also a baby picture. Another one, very cute. This is the father of Mr. Baretti we also saw in the living room. Over here we can see a wedding picture of them. Mr. and Mrs. Baretti. And look how happily in love and joyful they are staring to each other. So beautiful. Over here the last photo of Mr. Baretti inside of the living room. Imagine that. This was the living room. My gosh, it's the exact same table. It's so strange how a relative value life actually is. Because one day we all go, we all depart this earth. And then we leave the aftermath of our life behind. And we hope somebody cares and takes care of it. But sometimes it just doesn't happen. And I can keep staring at all these photos over here, Mr. Baretti again, with the army uniform. Now I show it to you. Look at this. <sighs> but what I was trying to say is that I can keep going through these pictures. I will still be standing here tomorrow. There's even some bullets. Again, some religious artifacts. I just always love to find old photos. I like them better than the modern photos we have today. Let's see if I can open something here. But it seems to be completely locked, and it is. Okay, let's go underneath the scope web over here. To the next room. Another very special room. I think it used to be a bedroom too, but there is no bed anymore. Instead, there is this vanity. Some keys inside of here, some belts, some tiny tools for sewing. Also a woman's purse here. And you see what I was telling? Over here is the other stairs, which we're going up. Now let's walk to the other rooms of the building on the other side. Oh, yet another bedroom. There's still an old cartoon here. 
written in Italian. And again, some religious statues. Very moldy wooden cabinet. And still a few coats are hanging inside of it. I really like this bed and it's so broad you would never have an argument about your own side in the bed if you were laying in this with a couple. <laughs> and I think this was definitely also the bedroom from Mr. and Mrs. Baretti. There is again a religious statue here. Also on the wall. There is even more old photos over here. It keeps on going. Maybe this was them in their very younger days on one of their first dates. I think they love traveling, but mainly in their own country of Italy. Then there is also bullets again. Oh, this is actually a beautiful religious statue. I really like it. Oh, look at this tiny diary. Dated from 1956. Not long after World War II. Also the purse over here again. Looks like this was a coat from Mr. Baretti. There's a doll over here in the chair. Then look at this washing table. Very, very neat. That over there was actually used to uh, put the water inside. They could put it in the bowl over here and then wash their face, wash their hands in the morning brush their teeth, and so on. Oh, again, another bedroom. And I'm not sure, but I think this is already the last home inside of this place. This is a book about the economy. I think there used to be some drinks inside of these boxes or maybe something for sewing. A very beautiful Italian bed actually. And a typical one I've seen plenty of times before. Also on the first Italy trip. Wow. Look at the pair of boots and the fur coat still hanging there. And also back in the days they used to stuff the inside of these cabinets with newspapers. It's a phenomenon you often see. Probably these newspapers are quite outdated. Let's see. It's so dirty with all these bugs. But at the moment I don't care. Nope, I don't see anything at the moment. Another single bed over here. And then I think we covered it all. The beautiful home of Mr. and Mrs. Baretti and their children. And I really want to thank you for watching through this explore. I don't have much time and you know I'm always a person who doesn't like to rush, wants to go into detailed aspects of, of a place, find out a story. In this case it's impossible. Tomorrow 
I have to leave back to Switzerland. That's a long drive from Italy where we are right now. After that, I need to go back all the way to the Netherlands. In total, I think it's around 13, 14 hours. That's a long way. So I really still wanted to capture the beauty of this place. And I just really hoped that you still appreciate it, that I showed it to you. And I really want to thank the family Baretti for having me inside of their place, of course. And yeah, just respectfully showing the aftermath of their lives. I really, really enjoyed this place. Even it was a little trashed, a little messy in some rooms. The state of the cobwebs and the DK was absolutely fascinating. I hope you liked it as well. And if you did, you always know the drill. Please hit the like button. You can subscribe to the channel down below and also leave a nice comment down below in the comment section. And then as always, I wish you a wonderful week and we will see you on our next adventure. Peace out. Bye bye.